dog's beds, our beds. We're not sleeping in Amble tonight, we're sleeping somewhere different. This is our home for the night. These are our beds. And this is St. Mary's Church in Longsledale in Cumbria. And this is where we'll be sleeping tonight. Something a little bit different. It'll be peaceful. It certainly will. It's peaceful now. We've been left a key to the hall, which is over the other side of the road, by where the van's parked. So for a start, we'll go and have a look at that. So there's Amble. And that's the hall that we've got access to where we can make tea and coffee and cook food They've left us another note. Welcome to Longsledale. We hope you enjoy your stay in our beautiful valley. With best wishes, Kate. So here's a little kitchen. with tea, coffee, milk and sugar left for us more coffee so we've got a hob the microwave 
or if you're from Wales, a poppity ping, as it's called. Toaster. Everything you need, really. Cupboards with mugs. And more cups. We like to do quirky things, and this is quirky. We've got the whole place to ourselves. We can either sit in here and eat, or we can go back to the church and eat. The dogs are allowed to stay overnight as well. So we'll go and have a look around the churchyard for a start, I think. We're in a beautiful valley. I'm coming back out of the hall. Here's the church. In the village, Longsledale, Longsledale, is the inspiration for Greendale, the little village where Postman Pat lives and delivers his mail. The author of the Postman Pat books lived, or lives not too far from here. And he saw this village, Hamlet even, and it inspired him for the, the place that Pat lived. And it is very quiet. Driving to the church, we, we met an odd couple of cars, and that's been it. One car's gone past since we arrived a few minutes ago. Sundial. In grateful memory of the men from this parish who fell in the Great War of 1914 to 18. George Cragg, Robert Gilpin and Roger Wilson. While Keith's doing the sleeping bags, there's more notes for us here. Welcome to St Mary's Church, Longsledale. Longsledale is a beautiful farming valley within the Lake District National Park. Outwardly, it has changed little over the last 150 years. The church was built in 1863, replacing a chapel on the site and extensively renovated in 2008. You have access to our sleeping equipment in the church, cooking and eating facilities in the community hall opposite, and access to the toilets next to the hall. Please ensure food and drink is prepared in the hall rather than the church, and clean any pans, crockery, and utensils. No smoking or naked flames in either building, so please do not light candles. And please leave muddy boots off somewhere within the porch of either building. And it's always appreciate you remembering this is a place of community worship. And this is still a church that's used regularly. We'll tell you in a little while, because I think we're going to make something to eat first and feed the dogs. We'll tell you more about how you are allowed to stay in a church. 
they thought of everything really. They've left little torches for us to use. The main light. Nice chairs. Yeah. <clears throat> a side table. When it goes dark, it'll be very dark. But it looks like they've left heating on as well. And also blankets need them. Or well, left heating that we can put on if we need to. We didn't walk around the other side of the church, did we? So let's do that. We saw church camping, or champing as it's known, um, a couple of years ago, and it's something we fancied doing. So we thought, well, while we're in the Lake District, we'd see whether we could book one. Well, it was booked for us, so, because it was known that we were interested in it, so. There we go. There's the bell, and the rope for the bell is tied up inside the church, and it's so tempting. But you know what it's like when you see something you want to pull, you just want to pull. Well, you can't pull everything you want to get hold of, can you? But sun's bright so I don't know how clearly it is but this is it one road in and one road out so that's the hall we were just in where we can cook and eat and everything there's also toilets there that we can use A lot of the churches that are involved in champing um, obviously don't have a hall that you can use, but they or toilets, but they have uh, they leave a camping stove for you. They also have composting toilets, so even if you don't have stuff like this, they still leave you facilities to make the most of your stay. We'll write a little strap line just here now telling you how many churches are involved in champing. It's not many throughout the country. Um, I can't remember offhand, and there's no mobile signal here at all for me able to Google it and tell you. But we, as I say, we'll leave a strap line below just to uh, tell you. There are all around the country, certainly England, I think there's some in Wales. Not sure about the Kirks in Scotland. It's an experience that we wanted to try. It will be interesting when it goes dark, and it will be interesting in the morning, obviously, because there's no church window, uh, no church curtains on the windows. So when the light starts streaming through, it should be beautiful and uplifting and spiritual. Do you think you could sleep in a church overnight? Let us know in the comments below. So we're going to cook tea and very simple tea. Baked beans, 
bread and butter and this is a bit of a pot look because we bought two it's a cumberland sausage stuffed with well one that we bought was stuffed with cheese and the others stuffed with black pudding but they're not labeled so we don't know which is which so we don't know what we're having but it'll be nice and it'll be yeah. reet so it's tea time and dogs have eaten outside so they're happy well all nosy to see what we're having but we've just met one of the church wardens a lovely lady she's very helpful it's another big thick sausage just like we like them Bye for that. while Keith's cooking tea I think I last flew a dart threw a dart okay. when I was a teenager and I wasn't safe then so I'm probably not now hey right away might be safe with it that I've no idea how many I got. How many did I get there? Because I am. Whoop, I tipped the camera. I know nothing about darts. Oh, six, eight, twelve. Did I do well? No. <laughs> Go on then. Oh, I don't. Twenty-one. Oh, you beat me. We're no good, are we? No, that's enough of the darts. Oh, he's going for another one. They're not very heavy. <laughs> well, he's made his mark on the walls. Oh, right. Stay out of the way, babe. You might get a piercing. So, and you laughed at me. Fourteen. Yeah, I think we'll give up on that then. Don't like this game. Don't understand it. Well, with that feeble effort of darts, that neither of us are very good at. Though Keith did make the excuse that the darts are light. I think we'll stick to the day job. They're just vlogging. Though we have got a pack of cards to play cards in the church later. But I suppose we better not gamble, had we? I suppose it better be just be a game and that's it. So, getting hungry. It's smelling nice. Yes, definitely hungry. I'm really looking forward to tonight. It's going to be fun. Some people might say it's a little bit spooky, but I don't think so. I think it'll be great. I'm sure it will. Thank you. Sausages that we bought from a local meat producers mm -hmm. um, in Alverston that was recommended to us by a few different people, to be honest. And it is very tasty. And it's black pudding, I mean. It is. So we'll have the cheese on another day. 
Well, that's a sign of a tasty meal, isn't it? Thank you, chef. There is a visitor book um, for people who've stayed to sign, and Keith's just looking at it, and there's some really nice things that people have left in there. Oh, He's drawn a really nice picture of the church. There's another one. And that's not as clear, but you can probably see it. Some very artistic people very, out there. Very good. Um, I had a look before, there's some really nice comments. And it's, I think the first date in that book is 2017, was it? Yeah. So it's been, champing's been going on for quite a while. Um, it's all settled over there. Found himself a, a little place to settle. Yeah, he's poking a nose in as usual. Good boy, Tor. They've not been in the church yet, so that'll be an experience for them. It's not often you can sit somewhere and really hear nothing. The thick walls of a church, when you sat on your own, no hum of traffic, you can't hear the wildlife, the birds, the sheep. Just silence. And it's really, really nice. And if you just sit in silence, you can just let your mind wander and clear. And it's just really, really nice. Because even if you did this in a church anywhere, and it wasn't this time of night, there would be still buzzing of traffic outside, especially if you're in a town or a city. Or other people wandering in. This is perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. So it's almost 9 p.m. It's going dark outside. It's going, I think it's gone. Sorry? I think it's gone. Yeah, it has. There's no electricity on, so everything's by torchlight. So it seems fitting to have a drink of red wine, alcohol free. Some cheese onion crisps, some cheddar cheese, and some goat's cheese. Our own cheese and wine party in a church. Cheers. 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 Something very different. 
It's a slightly different view where we're sleeping now. It's going dark. Just got the torches lit. I'm just going to nip outside and see how the what the church looks like lit up by torches. Well, this is how dark it is outside now. The stars are out, but you won't see those. You can't really see the windows lit up either. Well, we're in bed. It's about time we put the lights out. I think it's going to go very dark. So, we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Night night. It is dark. Night night. Well, good morning. Some additional pieces to tell you about the church. This stained glass shows a chalice and it is the only bit of stained glass in this window. And it's the only stained glass in the church. Oh, right. To be honest. It is, isn't it? Yes, looking at Look at reading the notes. It's the only decoration in the glazing. Uh, depicts the chalice, as Daryl said. The chalice dates from 1571, but is stored in Carlisle Cathedral, Carlisle Cathedral um, for safety. What did you say? It's a silver chalice? Yeah, silver chalice, dated 1571. On this plaque, The Lord's Prayer and another prayer in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. That's not a prayer that I know. And then on this side, you've got the Ten Commandments. This crucifix. Depicting Christ vested as priest and reigning from the cross as king is placed here in memory of John Richard Humpage Morgan DD, former resident, called from this valley in 1958 to be Bishop of Ripon. Even if you're just in the valley, it's a lovely church to pop in and have a look at. And as we do when we've parked up anywhere, we leave everything as we find it. Well, that's been really good fun. Yeah, a really different experience. Madison, he's still tired, he's still yawning. But it's time to go. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on another video.